Welcome to our video. At CISC we have tools and skills to help you integrate NFC-enabled wireless charging into your IoT devices like earpods, smartwatches, sensors and other small applications. In this video we will take a look at the NFC-based wireless charging development kit as a tool to evaluate features of wireless charging. The device supports NFC Forum, wireless charging standard 2.0, with a power transfer of 0.5 watts and communicating with data rate of 108 kilobits per second. The development kit is a great tool for exploring wireless charging capabilities and starting with your own wireless charging designs and solutions. The development kit consists of the base station and sensor tag, as well as the free software host user interface that allows monitoring and adjusting the operation of the base station and the wireless charging system. In general, two different applications can be used, the charging application and the detailed test mode. All right, let's move to our host user interface. When we open the application, the first thing we need to do is select our development kit and establish a connection. Now let's take a look at other panels we have available. As mentioned before, here we have two applications. The charging application that executes the WLC protocol specified by the NFC forum and a test mode where several parameters can be adjusted manually. The log monitor on the bottom of the software monitors and provides an output of the complete process during the charging cycle and commands that are shared between the base station and the sensor tag. Let's get back to the charging application. Here you can get information about the charging process. You can see the TX power transmitted from the base station, the battery level of the sensor tag, the charging duration of the WLC system, the polling interval, which is the time between two requests of the base station for the new values from the sensor tag, and the temperature of the base station. Before we do our first test, let's briefly move to our listener. There is a red LED light next to the sensor tag's antenna. That indicates the power of the received RF field. Additionally, there are three multicolored LEDs on the sensor tag. The left one lights in green if the microcontroller on the sensor tag is running. The middle one shows the status of the battery. Yellow means that the battery is currently being charged. The right LED lights up in green if the charging data channel between the base station and the sensor tag has been established. Now, let's update the values. At the moment, the battery is not connected to the sensor tag. Therefore, the user interface shows a low TX power level. If we now connect the battery by switching on the switch, we can see that the TX power level has been increased. The battery is charging and the current battery level is shown. The base station and the sensor tag are operating in the so-called negotiated mode. So the base station and the sensor tag will increase the TX power level beyond the limit specified for NFC communication. Now I will switch on the test mode and before doing this, the sequence is as follows. First, we have to remove the sensor tag from the base station and only then we switch on the test mode. We select the slot antenna and we press the RF on. Now we put the sensor tag back on the base station. Here we can select between two antennas. The slot antenna has a large area, pretty much the whole board that can be used for charging more than one device at the same time. On this position, the red light indicates that the received RF field is high, also at this position on the slot antenna. And then we have the hotspot antenna, which is the smaller circular antenna in the middle. This antenna enables higher power transfer and the negotiated mode is possible as we saw before in the charging application. 
Under this mode, power level can be adjusted with a change of the TX power, and we can see that in the log window. Furthermore, the current temperature of the base station can also be seen.